Hello everyone, welcome to my The Way Home official channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Way Home, a new episodic drama on the Hallmark channel, is the ideal marriage of mystery and heart. A family gift and fate may lead the Landry family down a path to compassion and forgiveness they never would have thought possible. This unusual series introduces us to three generations of strong, stubborn women who can't quite figure out how to bridge the gap caused by decades of loss and misunderstandings. The story takes an intriguing turn as it starts in Port Haven, New Brunswick in 1814, with a girl running through the woods and a gang of men chasing her with torches. She finds herself at the brink of a pond, barely escaping them. The timeline leaps ahead to present-day Minneapolis, Minnesota, as she dives into the lake. Here, Sadie Laflam Snow's character Alice first appears to us when she exits the stage of her high school talent performance while setting off the fire alarm. Kat, Shyla Lay, and Brady, Al Mukadam, Alice's recently divorced parents, find out that Alice has been expelled, this sparks a furious dispute between them in the parking lot on responsibility for their daughter's recent run of bad decisions. As accusations of guilt are being made, Kat informs Brady that she was fired that morning due to downsizing, and that's why she missed their daughter's show. Brady acknowledges that he's been preoccupied since his new girlfriend moved in with him. That their child is going through a difficult time makes sense. Alice snaps and claims there's no purpose in talking to her parents about it because they never listen to her anyhow when Kat finds her at home with her friends and tries to start a family discussion about Alice's attitude and decisions. Brady makes the less-than-ideal parental decision to leave right away and return to work, failing even to offer assistance. Kat is clearly trying to shield her daughter and knows that the impending divorce is upsetting her but Alice has put up a strong wall and won't let her mother in. Following this fruitless endeavor to establish communication with Alice, Kat unexpectedly receives a letter from her own divorced mother, pleading with her to make amends and return home. Taking a deep breath, she contacts her mother and decides it's time to go back to their family farm in Port Haven, New Brunswick, with her daughter. Kat tries to persuade Alice, as well as herself, that this is the right decision for the two of them as they set out on their journey to Canada to start over. Alice is not thrilled about the prospect of living with a stranger for a grandma, and she finds it incomprehensible that her mother would go back to the house where she lost her little brother, a location she has avoided for the past 20 years. Kat and Alice reach the Landry family farm after a protracted journey. This is when we first meet the family's no-nonsense matriarch, Del Landry, Andy McDowell. Although Del doesn't welcome her daughter warmly at the car, she makes sure Alice receives a hug and a tour of the grounds. When Kat walks into the farmhouse, which she is left alone to get to know again, memories of her past overwhelm her. Kat hears a child laughing and hears music filling the room. She also sees visions of a record player and little red sneakers. Del offers Alice a tour and tells her about their family's past as Kat is having a flashback. She informs her that her grandpa Colton gave her the gift of music, that his family has owned the farm for many centuries, and that one day she might inherit it all. She also mentions a pond on their property offhand in the woods. During the awkward family dinner that evening, Del doesn't waste any time in directing her granddaughter and daughter in the way she thinks is best. Kat's idea to write a book is promptly shot down by her, who advises her to get a real job in the community. Then Alice tells her granddaughter that she will be starting school in person tomorrow, even though she is protesting that she would prefer to learn online. Alice gets up from the table to go to her room, which is Kat's old room. By telling Del that she will be stealing her younger brother Jacob's room, Kat unnerves Del. Alice discovers her grandfather's funeral program while looking around her new room. According to the statement, Colton Landry passed away on February 17, 2000, at the age of 42, and was reunited with his son Jacob after passing away. In the meantime, Dell and Kat are having a heart-to-heart -heart in the kitchen. 
When Kat tells her mother that she is getting a divorce, they talk about how, when Kat was 15, she met Brady at a summer camp. Her mother helps Kat accept the fact that sometimes people just don't work out. Kat expresses gratitude to her mother for requesting her to patch up the letter. Dell loses her cool and claims that Kat called her before she sent her daughter a letter. Kat questions why her mother would deny sending the letter, perplexed as it was written in her handwriting. Dell says nothing further and walks out of the room at that point. As Kat ascends the stairs, she hears Alice pleading with her father to allow her to return to Minneapolis. As Alice gets ready for her first day of school in the morning, Kat notices Dell having a heated discussion with a man in the front yard. Dell charges him with locating and forwarding the letter that Kat was sent. She becomes irritated because she believes he's acting foolish when he tells her he has no idea what she is talking about. When Kat breaks the conversation, she is shocked and relieved to realize that Elliot, Evan Williams, a childhood friend, is speaking with her mother. They take a moment to catch up after she gives him a strong hug. He informs her that he returned home to teach science in the high school a few years ago. Dell breaks off the conversation to mention that they are both divorced before doing so. In order to avoid being late for her first day of school, Alice breaks into their private moment and wants to be taken there. Brady contacts Kat to see how she is doing while Alice is at school. She charges him of ignoring Alice and making up an excuse related to his job. He informs her that by not adding to Alice's negative energy, he is attempting to support her decision to return to Canada. She informs him that Dell has removed all reminders of her brother and father, as well as the joy that used to fill the home. She hands up the phone and goes outside to confront Dell. She queries how she can simply erase every picture of her father and Jacob, treating them as if they never happened. Dell assures her that Kat should also move on since she has. When Dell calls her out for failing, Kat responds that it's because she has nothing to hold on to. Alice learns that Elliot is her science instructor at school. He assures her he would do anything for the Landry family, saying he grew up next door to their farm. Help is on the way, any place, any time, he says. She thank him uncomfortably and walks away, but not before a few children taunt her and block the fire alarm because they clearly know about her prior transgressions. Kat delves into the lower level. Her father and younger brother cross her mind in an instant. She opens her brother's belongings, which include a little prize box. When Alice comes down to inform Kat that Alice is skipping school, Dell breaks the moment. Alice enjoys a cup of coffee at the Point Cafe while watching a film of her parents giving her a charm bracelet with the initials K plus B, which her dad had previously given to her mother. Alice is staring at the exact bracelet Kat is wearing when she steps in. She gets into the car and drives her home. In the front yard, they yell at each other. After expressing her disappointment at not even making it through a single day of school, Kat reminds her that they must adjust to their new living situation as she is trapped with her. Alice argues that she can always move in with her dad, but Kat tells her that because her dad recently moved in with his girlfriend, Alice doesn't have the option to go. Alice flees from her mother into the woods at that very moment, realizing that her parents will never be reunited. After running till she comes to a pond, Alice yanks her charm bracelet off her wrist and tosses it into the water out of rage. Her decision is instantly regretted as she reaches into the water to collect it, only to fall in and battle to the surface. Suddenly, an arm emerges from the water to help her out. A girl of Alice's age approaches her as she comes up out of the water. Alice is asked why she is in the filthy pond water by the worried stranger, who also tells her that she is on her family's property. Alice is perplexed and questions how she could be on the girl's family's property until the girl introduces herself to her pals as Catherine Landry Cat. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.